Hey beautiful souls, thank you so very much for stopping by. So today I have just dropped in to showcase you some of the products I have bought recently. I am super super excited to try. Actually I received it yesterday and today like 6 I am just trying to, I, I just ended up doing this like I wore it like it was like oh you know like okay i'm not gonna blabber it's like best of the products i bought in a reasonable price i got it in from a block sale kind of i'll show you like what i always wanted to try but i couldn't afford it of course and it is it is out of my budget kind of but then i got it during a sale this is what i'm talking about i'll insert a picture like you know okay i'll sit a little bit here so that i can insert a picture this side so like this is like stila cosmetics I mean, I can see every freaking person in this world like uses this one, uh, especially the uh, you know the the, the, the liquid can see uh, liquid uh, eyeliner kind of. I always wanted to try this. Oh my goodness! Tell you not the packaging. I mean, it feels so luxe, like you know, it's a steel, I guess. I already have swatches on my hand. I already have it on my. Uh, eyes like you know it is so beautiful it is so reflective what do I even tell you you know that's why I think people goes for this one because this is so reflective and I don't know what it has inside like it sometimes looks like a glitter sometimes it looks like a chunky glitter sometimes it looks like it has so much of shift like multi shift going on there and the shade I have gone for here is metallic merlot magnificent metal eyes okay so this is the first product i always wanted to try like you know like of course it was out of my budget i got it during a sale uh, from a blog uh, from an instagram makeup artist so yeah this is the first thing i ordered and i'm absolutely in love with it i already have it on my eyes you cannot see because i'm in a room light i cannot be able to you know i'll not be able to show you how it looks like but i'll definitely have a separate small mini review for this one for sure Second thing I'm gonna talk about, I always, 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 forever and forever wanted to try Colourpop lip lipstick. Lip. <laughs> so that's the level of excitement I have with me today. So I always wanted to try this Colourpop lipsticks, but then, yeah, it is not uh, unaffordable kind of, like if that is a word. Uh, you know, like, um, of course, it's not an Indian brand. In India, also Instagram seller sells it for maximum 650 rupees. I wanted to buy it, but you know, like it was like just delaying, 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 and I ended up buying another lipstick. So it was always in a delay process. Now I got ultra blotted lip, and I applied it yesterday, and I was like, this is super comfortable. And I would not say like I was flabbergasted by this one, this particular lipstick. Yeah, it is very smooth to apply. You do not even feel like you're wearing a lipstick. Uh, the shade I have gone here is bit o sunny. Okay. So I'll leave a swatch or something right here. I'll also show you how it looks like Bit O Sunny is here. Either like this will not showcase anything, but I'll definitely somewhere insert a picture or swatch here. This retails for 650 rupees in India in Instagram seller. And you can not get it in India. But uh, I have understood this much. I have used good lipstick. I have understood this much. Howsoever expensive lipstick I'll buy. I think it will wither out uh, from my inner uh, inner lip area. I don't know. That's my problem. That's the way I talk. That's why it starts getting ripped off from the inner uh, this this part of my lips. So this also did that. Like it stayed for pretty long time. And morning when I woke up, I had that you know like what do you call it lip line kind of a thing out, and it was looking super sexy. You know. I know I'm trying to be like you know yeah it was like that I liked it but then yeah okay so let's not blabber about it much but then yeah I liked it I have understood I'm not gonna spend any more in lipstick at all um, I want to try Fenty Beauty but then of course it's not my and also Huda Beauty okay fine let it be maybe okay so third product we am I excited about is this one I have always 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 wanted to buy this uh, crushed pigments these pigments are from makeup revolution they are retailed for 675 rupees but then they are always on a discount like once i saw it for rupees 200 as well but then i didn't end up, ended up buying it i don't know for what reason i got it during a sale the shade i have here is crushed pearl pigments and the shade is vindictive now i do not know what that this means but it has this color like 
little bit kind of a purple and all so i always want this is so fine i had used it yesterday so fine uh, you know pigments like it i like i loved it this is available in hope makeup but i got it during a block sale this is makeup revolution press pigments uh, it's not not press pigments the pearl pigments and the shade is vindictive the third one i think this video is going to be forever because i'm just blabbering and blabbering and blabbering okay this is the one thing i wanted to try like i always wanted to uh, like i have seen good reviews about this from my fellow uh, instagram people as well but then um, it was always in a wish list i never bought it but she was having this too for 145 rupees so i went for it so i got it this black lakme eyeliner and a blue lakme eyeliner i wanted to try this for a longest period of time but then yeah i ended up buying this too okay now i also heard a lot and lot of lot of good review about this particular foundation though i'm not a fan of lakme products especially the foundation like i almost have every possible you know like right from the bb cream to this sort of a thing if that counts uh, like i was just trying to film one lot like uh, the the black and silver bottle one uh, but this is very good reviews over internet the shade i have here is warm neutral and um, yeah prices and everything would be somewhere here so i wanted to try this i ended up buying this as well this also i got it for 145 rupees so yeah that was a steel deal and uh, okay uh, this is another metallics uh, or oh, metallics what am i saying this is also another metallic eyeshadow and yeah i was super shocked to when i when i dipped my hand in this one this feels like a jelly man i've never used anything of this sort before at all it is almost similar to this uh, uh, stila one but then this has more glitters to it very beautiful this has less glitters to it but the shade is absolutely similar absolutely similar okay this is from austral uh, yeah australis and this is metallic eyeshadow in the shade plum diddy i'm going to use it like while doing black smoke here and all right now and i have another one i do not know what is this i just went for it because seven of the product were for around say 500 rupees so but this is also the same like a thing it does also has a jelly so this is also metallic eyeshadow when i dip my finger it feels like a jelly and when i swatched it in my hand yesterday it is so beautiful baby pink can you see that this is beautiful baby pink even if you do not wear anything like you know you have just worn your baby cream i'm so glad i bought this in fact i didn't knew it They'd like five products were together so i didn't knew i still do not know what brand is this i have to ask the lady i got it from it just says the uh, shade is rival r i v l rival but then you know if you have if you do not want to do heavy makeup like this you just wear your bb cream and you just apply a little bit of this particular bb pink this thing oh my goodness so beautiful man so you just rub it into your eyes ever so slightly then i don't know you want to rock it i guess okay i would also got this particular this this is a press glitter from ts cosmetics i also wanted to try this one this is an indian brand but then i never bought it but unfortunately i got this empty it didn't have anything inside but it's okay okay another thing i bought is this one this is fashion brow from uh fashion color i actually have one like fashion brow fashion color i will have a detailed review for that one and i have this has so many good reviews in internet in in amazon basically this is uh, available in amazon and it has like this has a satin finish and this is the same brow powder i used to do i used today to do my brows and i absolutely i would not say i fell in love with it but in 275 rupees they are giving a very very good uh, you know option like same thing i have one i remember if i'm not wrong i do have one fashion color uh, eyebrow powder but that is very very powdery like you know very powdery what do i say but this has the satin touch it has one brush available uh, uh, a mirror available and this has the satin touch it does not have any sort of a fallout it comes in two different uh, you know uh, uh, shades of course it has mixed with uh, glitter because i had glitter on my hand but this is satin pure matte one is little dark and one is little br um, uh, light brown and the shade i'm going uh, i have here is 002 
uh, this I will have a review on my channel very soon because if you are looking for anything anything sustainable for your eyebrows I think this is to go for but then okay we'll talk about it later uh, last thing she sent, sent me across is this says apothecary I don't know I was am I pronouncing it correctly but I regret buying this one this retails for 2.99 and of course I got it for 145 maybe but of course it's it's um, uh, strawberry but when I smell it it smells like shit trust me it has no smell is it like this it is expired or I do not know no this does not smell nice at all this this is this, this, this smells like you know you have kept it for a pretty long time I'm probably gonna not use it though it has written manufacture is January 2020 and expiry is 20, uh, 22 uh, it has beeswax, sunflower oil, coca butter, vitamin E, strawberry extract but then I do not think so I'm not gonna use it because it smells ugh, horrible bad okay last thing this I didn't brought it from a block sale this I go I went for a CSD like army canteens and then it was this one available I got intrigued intrigued like it was written inside lip gloss and we get one fourth of the price we have to pay it's pretty cheap I actually the shade I went for is two because when it was kept like this it was it had one more cover outside this was the lightest shade I was being able to see this is definitely not a gloss dress me you shouldn't buy this one <laughs> I'll tell you why because this is not a gloss baby this has some freaking colors on it and you cannot wear this as a gloss and uh, you can wear this as a lipstick like not the matte ones you can say these are like no, uh, non matte lipsticks but then um, if you put your you know your hair open so forget about it so you know like this is definitely not you shouldn't buy this one I, di I didn't like this one so I think I blabbered a lot uh, only thing I regret buying is this lip balm I shouldn't have it smells like okay so forget about it so yeah it smells very bad uh, so that's all for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, i'll meet you very soon next time i'm gonna come up with probably this uh, eyebrow powder review if you want to buy um or uh, maybe a foundation from lacme i'm gonna test it with two different uh, foundation like this one and this one okay it's already 12 minutes i shouldn't blabber anymore i really hope you guys enjoyed this video take care of yourself we'll meet very soon take care bye bye